Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we are going to talk about shininess. Shininess is a feature that will come in 5 days on the 25th January. So I think it's useful to know how it works and how it can profit to you. So first of all you can find details, details about shininess on the main website. We have a very small uh, paragraph here talking about shininess. If you want to know more about it, you can go visit the, the Alien Words Blue Blueprint and on page 11, if I'm not wrong, you can see you have shininess here and you have more details about shininess. You have four levels of shininess. Right now, you can drop and you can buy only stone level shininess. On the 25th January, you will be able to upgrade your cards into gold, stardust and antimatter shininess. One of the reasons of why you would want to shine your card is because you will get better stats on, uh, on your card like uh, lower charge time or more TLM or NFT farm stats or if you are a collector uh, a lower mint or just a cooler card you can find some details about how it works you will have to send multiple NFTs and Trillium uh, to a smart contract and it will shine your card once again you can go check the Alien Worlds Medium page and on a blog that they made on October 28th, if I'm not wrong, you can find even more details about Shining. Here it is. So and in words medium, don't worry, the link is in the description. Here you have uh, a better image of how Shininess will work. You can see that you will need four cards in order to upgrade uh, to the next shininess level. If you scroll down a bit, you can see uh, other details that you need the four cards to shine and you can see the trillium amount that you are going to need to uh, shine your card. If you keep scrolling down, you will see the, the border of your new card. Here you have the stone card the gold card, the stardust card, and the antimatter card, which is pretty cool. Let's go a bit deeper in the details. And the first detail that we're gonna speak about is the stats. If you go and check the Alien Worlds Bible, and you go on the shiny tools attributes, you'll have, you'll have every shine, shiny tool uh, stats and you can sort it let's try to sort it by the name and let's take the advanced TD you have here the stone advanced TD and the stats that this tool is giving you which are 2.5 TLM and 0 NFT luck if you shine it to the gold level it will increase your luck by 0 0.5. If you shine it to the Stardust, it will increase your luck to 1 and the charge time will be 5 seconds. And if you shine it to Antimatter, the cooldown will be even lower by 6 seconds and you will win some proof of work uh, points. If you add every up upgrade, you can see here that the total efficiency of an antimatter advanced TD is twice bigger than a advanced TD stone uh, shininess level. So if you mine a lot, it might be very interesting for you to shine your card. But hey, it's not gonna be free. If you go back here, uh, you will see that you have to pay some trillium and you have to burn four cards in order to get to the next um, to the next shininess level. I'm more like a visual guy, so we're gonna try to see how much uh, will cost you 
to shine a tool from stone to antimatter. So let's go to the atomic hub and pick a random item. Um, we're gonna go for a, a rare item. Uh, maybe the Traxus X, which is kind of a good item. And we're gonna sort it by the price. You can see that the cheapest one is around $13. We are going to see how much it will cost us to shine a stone Draxus X to an antimatter Draxus X. So let's see how it will work. We have one card and we want to go from the stone level we want to reach first the gold level. In order to do that, we are going to need four stone cards. So here we are, four stone cards. So we are going to shine the four stone cards to make a gold one. Here we are. Imagine you are shining your, your stone cards and you just got a gold card. Awesome. Now you want to go for a Stardust card. In order to make a Stardust card, you will need four gold cards. So we are going to take what we did to have one gold card and do it again four times in order to be able to make a stardust card so now that we have let's take yellow now that we are shining our gold cards we have our Stardust card and now we are going to try to get an Antimatter card. In order to get that one we are going to need four Stardust cards. So let's make the Antimatter level. Okay, here we are and let's get some space and as you can see it will ask us a lot a lot 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 of stone cards but hey don't worry we're gonna make it okay so here you are the second stardust the third stardust and the last stardust once you have them you can make your antimatter card and you are going to be extremely extremely happy that you that you made it to the antimatter okay so here we are this is the amount of cards that you're going to need to make one antimatter card. And don't forget that we ha you have to pay a TLM fee to get your antimatter. We are going to calculate how many cards we are going to need. Uh, it's a multiple of four. So if you're good at math, you will see that in order to make one Stardust card, you are going to need 16 stone cards. And as you need 16 four cards for one Stardust, well, that means that you are going to need four times 16 cards, 16 stone cards, 
to make one Stardust, uh, to make one Antimatter. In total, it means that you will need 16 multiplied by 4, 64 cards to make one Antimatter card. Let's see how much it will cost us to, to have 64 cards. You have the cheapest one which is at around $30, so you can say that you will need 13 by 64 around $800 to make an antimatter card. Yes, but no, because this is the lowest price, but you need 64 cards and you can see that the next one is more expensive and the next one is more expensive too and so go on. So you have four cards in a row. In a row. If you want to take around 20 cards, you will need five rows and you can see that the price is almost a double for uh, 20 cards and you, need six, and you need 64. So the best strategy to, to make it cheaper for you is going to buy four cards and then wait that the market refills by itself. Otherwise, uh, you are going to need a lot of cards and you will pay a lot of money uh, to have 64 cards. The problem is that you don't have the time uh, right now if you want to get the first mint. Uh, Shining opens in 4 days now and you're gonna need 64 cards. No need to say that you won't, you will not be able to get a, a mythical card uh, to Antimatter because mythical cards don't even have 64 cards available. This one has only 70, which is not enough. And you don't, and you will need to think about the TLM price. And I've made a Google sheet on the TLM price and you can see that in order to shine a rare card from stone to antimatter you will need 28k TLM and if you check the actual price of TLM and of wax TLM is trading at around 0.045 so we can take 0.045 you can take the wax price which is 0.043 and you multiply this amount by 28,000 which will lead you around $55 to shine a rare tool from stone to antimatter. It will be the double from an epic for an epic tool, uh, four times for a legendary tool and eight times for a mythical tool. That's a huge amount of money right now. So have two choices now. Either you go for the first mint uh, on January 25 and you can sell that first mint for a lot of money. Collectors love mint one cards. If you go to the Alien Worlds and sort by mint, you can see that even an abundant mint, I think an abundant mint, is selling for more than $1,000 because it's mint one. Collectors love mint one. So, do you want to buy TLM and cards uh, to be ready for January 25? Or you want to wait and get cards for maybe a cheaper price? That's up to you. Uh, all I can say is that Shininess will bring a lot, a lot of futures in the game 
and I'm sure people will be crazy stuff with this. That was it for this video. See you next time on another tutorial. Oh, and by the way, if you have questions or uh, ideas or anything like that, you can join the Discord. The community is quite active. Uh, people are trying to answer you if you have a question. And there's a lot of people doing giveaways where you can get NFTs, tools, or weapons, uh, which is a very good way to, to get into the game. So, join the Discord and see you next time.